What's going on everyone? Welcome to Robinson Motorsports. Tonight, I will be putting the carb and air box on Project Frank and Ripper. Stick around. Project Frank and Ripper is back on the stand finally. Last episode I was cleaning the carb on it because I'm going to be putting the carb on it, obviously, and trying to fit the four-stroke airbox to the two-stroke carburetor. Now, it's a little bit more difficult than you would think because the boots are different and, well, let's just face it, it's a totally different motor. The angle of approach is different and it's going to need a little bit of a modification but after looking up part numbers and figuring out that the air filter is the same the air filter cage is the same the mount for the air filter is the same the boots different but the shape is the same the shape of the hole is the same in the air box itself so here is an air box that i bought off of ebay for a 2000 it was either 10 or 12. i'm trying to stay with 2012 just in case there's some little thing that happened one year and it's just, it w so it won't turn into a mess. But I think it's either a 10 or a 12. And if you see here, this is the spot where the carb hooks up and this obviously isn't going to work. It's not going to, can't do, you just, you can't do that. So I took the boot off of project woods ripper my 125 which is the same thing for most 250s and 125s five nx zero zeros the part number well it's five nx and obviously here you go carb fits in it just fine yada 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 we know this if you look at the overall shape well here i made sure that when i bought this air box it came with this cage the clamp and I didn't necessarily need the boot but so here we have this cage off of the 2010-2012 off of the 250F airbox and it's going to fit perfectly into there mint right so I know that this is going to work and it's definitely going to fit into this hole so let's just go ahead and mount this air boot in this air box all right so this one's got this little lip around here you see this one doesn't well the inside of the air box there's a lip right here and that's pretty much this rubber lip here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go around this and cut it off leaving that nipple because we need that for the center line but i'll just trim all that off very carefully. Alright, I got it trimmed up for the most part. You can still see there's some in there, but I just can't really get the razor blade in there. That well to, to trim it, so. Better than it was. Let's see if I can't knock down some of these high spots seated against the rubber all the way around mint all right let's tighten down boots all in before we go any further let's put the wash plug in all right, got the subframe here, air box. Just gonna fit it, kind of. So 
So the way this air boot fits, you can see it's definitely smashed up against the frame here, which I think we can, we're all right with, but it doesn't meet up here. So we have to do something about that. And you can see it's really smushed up against there. And I think we might be up against the shock pretty good. All right, so we got to figure this out now. Um, I hear heat and rubber kind of, you can mold it around a little bit. Um, as far as rubbing on the shock, that's going to be an issue, I think. So we'll uh, take a quick look at this again, and uh, we'll get back to you. All right, so here's the plan. I know I got it all taken back apart now, but hey, you know, it's part of the deal. I'm going to use a heat gun here to heat up. Basically, this line right here is where the frame is. This is exposed. This is behind the frame. So I'm going to use a heat gun, heat up this whole area the best that I can. Try to get it to almost like melt, really. And then I'm going to put it in the vise here. squeeze it down and let it cool. So it clears the frame and gives me a little bit more room to work with there. I still have about a quarter of an inch to make up to meet up with the carburetor, but I got a plan for that too. So while this is cooling off, I still have that issue where I don't think the, this boot is going to meet up with the carb perfectly. So I have a plan for that. Two and a half inch silicone tubing. I think it's like an air intake thing I got off of eBay. Whatever. It was four bucks. Two and a half inch here. To go from the carb, like that, to the air boot. But the air boot is female, the carb is male. If I put this on, we'll have female to female, so I need a coupler to go between there. Well, try to find two and a half inch OD pipe. Well, PVC pipe, ABC. Kind of tough to find, not gonna lie. Except, standard shop vax. This is two and a half. It is almost like it was made for it. It should be stiff enough. It's thin enough that the air will definitely pass through there. We're not going to be taking up too much space. And if you look here, about four tenths of an inch of silicone tube that can go onto the carb. Because this is the part that sticks out the most. The air boot, we have five tenths, half of an inch. So we got 9.9 .9 to work with. Nine tenths of an inch. I could make it an inch. So we'll have half inch of this sticking in. Half inch. Yeah. So that's what I'll do. I'll make it an inch. So everything is just going to be 0.5 or 5 tenths intervals. So I'll cut an inch of this off. And I will cut an inch of this off. Alright. So this is basically the coupler that I came up with. We're all at one inch. I mean, this is a little shy. This is one inch. There's a little wave that I put in this. You can see I marked it a black mark on top, saying that that's on top because the bottom is actually 0.9, and if you go in here, it's 4. So that's actually going to be that low spot where the float bowl is. Coupler in can see it fits right on the face of the carb there all the way around there's enough for the ports here to get all the air they need maybe a little bit of turbulence i could possibly file them down but i'm honestly not too worried about it all right this is actually pretty cold so take it out of the place here and see what happened oh that's mint actually trained it a little there 
it's still a little high but definitely a lot flatter through here and it wants to go in so I like that we will fight to get it back in the air box and install it again and then I'll get back with you all right we got the air box on the boot is connected to the carb via that coupler you can see it's definitely still pressed up against the frame here but the coupler the space here everything seems to be working out all right we're missing the spring for the most part except for this side here we're kind of rubbing on the spring right there but you can see it's actually connected we're able to put a clamp on there and get it tight and not worry about any dirt or dust getting in there super happy about that all right so this isn't like 100 percent done it's on this is basically just mocking it up making sure that it fits and everything is gonna work out all right i'm still gonna order three clamps for that three brand new ones um i don't have any hoses on the carb yeah yeah i still have to put a throttle cable in there and i still gotta find a bolt for here so that's that that's just like little knick-knack stuff I do, and I don't want to film it because it's so boring. But, all right, that's it for this episode. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. I still got a bunch to do on this, so I will see you, everyone on the next one.